And this is the star of today's show, lime. Not to be confused with lemon. Lemons are yellow and limes are green. Did you know that limes are native to Asia? I was surprised that it's not from Mexico. I mean, come on, Mexicans put this on everything. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now, you already know that lime is very acidic. It's also rich in potassium, contains a good amount of vitamin C. And here's a fun fact. One tree can produce over a thousand limes a year. Now, I've done an experiment previously with the lime juice. Instead of making the meat tender, it made it more tough. So for today, instead of using the juice, is we're gonna use the lime zest. My hopes is that I'm able to control the incredible flavor of lime without using any acidity of the juice. And as you know, whenever you're zesting lime, you should never use the white stuff. Only the green is good. If you go too far, it starts becoming bitter. That is not what we want. As you can see, once I was done zesting all of the limes, I was left with a good amount. Now that is what I'm talking about. This is gonna be perfect for dry aging some steaks. Talking about that, this is the true star of the show. It is a four bone, beautiful rib roast. You can already tell that this is an incredible piece of meat. Now, in order to make this experiment valid, the first thing we need to do is to split this in half. That's because we need to have a control in order to see the taste differences. As you can see, I was left with some two beautiful pieces. Now, the very first one, I'm going to be using the Umai Dry Age Bag System. This allows me to dry age at home without any special equipment. The wonderful thing about this bag is that it's not a bag at all. It looks like one, but it's not. It's actually a special membrane that allows moisture to escape without allowing anything bad to go back back in. That gives me complete confidence to dry edge at home in my regular refrigerator. Because once you throw it in, all you have to do is vacuum seal it, put it on a cooling rack so air can circulate all the way around, and it is now ready to dry edge for 35 days. Because now it's time for the real experiment. So the first thing I did was I grabbed my line and went to towel. I was trying to remove as much zest as possible. And I mean this is hard work. We need a ridiculous amount. But as you can already tell, this is about to fall off. It does not stick. Especially when I turned it around, oh man, everything is falling off. But to ensure that nothing falls off, I went ahead and spread a good amount of butter right on top. No surface was left behind. I made sure to cover the whole thing. And once I was done, take a look. This is the world's first lime butter dry age experiment. And hopefully it's gonna turn out fantastic. As now all that is needed is patience. Because into my refrigerator it goes to dry age for 35 days. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look. Not much has changed. It still almost looks identical to the time when you went in. And surprisingly, the smell is not bad. I would say that it smells like nothing. Usually whenever you dry aging with butter, that happens. The real question is, what happens when you start opening it up? As soon as I took my butter knife and started opening it, oh man, take a look. That does not look very good. And when I went in for a smell, oh no. I can honestly say it is one of the worst smells I've ever had. But hey, we went this far, we're gonna go ahead and continue this experiment. Usually I tell you guys, your nose tells you everything. If it smells bad, throw it away. But my thinking is that this was not the meat itself. It was the lime zest mixed with butter. After being in the refrigerator for so long, not a good thing. Because once I was done, take a look. That is what it looks like. Not as bad as you might think, but if you could only smell, you would think otherwise. You can clearly see that there's some oxidation, but there's no mold. It's just a horrific smell that comes through. But hopefully that's not gonna make the meat bad. Just like every dry aging experiment, the next thing to do is to go ahead and remove the outer crust. So I started by taking out the bones. As you can see, in the inside, it looks pretty good. Nice pinkish color, exactly what we're looking for. The same thing goes with the edges. Take a look at that. And to my surprise, the smell was only on the outer crust. So I continued to remove everything out and I was left with two beautiful steaks. Take a look. Now that is giving me really high hopes to see how this is gonna taste. And hopefully it's gonna be one of the best experiments I've ever done. We'll be determining that real shortly. Because if you remember, we still have the control dry age experiment. And the Umai dry aging bag system did its job. I went ahead and started removing all of the outer crust. And I was left with a nice steak. Now that's what I'm talking about. If I put them side by side, you can really see the differences. Just like my previous butter dry aging experiment, you have less waste. That is a good thing. However, the flavor is usually not the best. That is why I'm hoping the lime is gonna shine through. Through. When holding the lime butter dry age one, I can tell that it is extremely tender. We also have the cap muscle still intact. And boy, this one feels so tender that it's falling apart on me. The real dry age one, on the other hand, it's much tougher. As you can see, it does not give, but it does have a wonderful smell. But now that we got them ready, the only thing left
thing left to do is to go ahead and season them. For that I kept it real simple, with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. We really want to be able to tell the flavor that comes through with these steaks. That's why I'm not masking it with any type of rub. Talking about that, the only thing left to do now is to cook them. I'll first be putting a beautiful sear and basting them with butter. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to cook them, so let's do it. Alright everybody, here we have our beautiful steak. Are you guys hungry? I'm starving. I know, I know this what? is an experiment. <laughs> they are starving. so hungry that they're not even talking to everybody. They're just going, yeah. I'm <laughs> I know that I'm is looking it that at bad? it and I'm hungry, but I know it's an experiment. My mouth is watering so much just looking at these steaks. <laughs> I can't wait. You see everybody, let me tell you something. If you want to have a good experience and a good experiment, you let them starve because by the time it's time to eat, they're really going to appreciate the steak. We are the experiment now, Angel. I guess we <laughs> are the experiment now. Hey, found it for the experiment, <laughs> people, huh? So here's the deal. We got two beautiful steaks. I want to know your opinion. Which one is better? All right, let's go for this one here first, everybody. Grab it. I want to know your opinion, how you like it, how you hate it. Cheers. 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 Hmm. Is that dry age? What? Oh my God, that's He's been pot. coming to my house way too much to be a steak expert already, Leo. Give me mm. five. Yes, it is dry age. <laughs> awesome. Mm. It's a combination of tasting it and watching the videos because <laughs> that, that funkiness that yeah. they always talk about is, is spot on. It's like so weird. Leo, in a good way or in a bad way? I think in a good way. I think it enhances the steak. It's just really weird. So it sounds steak. like you don't like it, Leo. No, I do like it. No, 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 no. I don't want the people to misunderstand. <laughs> no, that's to, okay, Leo, we, we will eat this. You no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want the people to misunderstand, all right? It's good. Don't do I that just, to I, him, I, man. I just, he's Bro, hungry, he's starving I it. swear, you I tell him that you're not gonna give him I was the, I almost <laughs> thought I was gonna get killed here right now, but I'm telling you right now, so yeah, okay, it's your... <laughs> But you're right, it's a, it's a little funkiness, everybody. Yeah. Well, There's a little funkiness when you dry age a steak. It's kind of like describing what is the flavor of Coke, Coca-Cola. It's very difficult. To me, how does Coca-Cola taste to you? Exactly. Like, it's kind of like that. You don't really have a, a word or something else that you can compare it to. It just tastes like it's dry. Like, it's so unique that it's hard to describe it. Exactly. I can't, I can't compare it, is the thing. And a lot of people always say, you know, you guys don't describe it enough, but it's difficult, everybody, when you have something at stake and you have to really pinpoint it, the differences. Talking about that, since you guys already know that this one is a dry age, now let's go for the second one. Smell anything different? I just get a whiff of, like, charcoal and it's so nice. I'll wait till I try it. Enough talking, let's try it. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers. Oh. Yeah, that's very different. Leo hated it. No. <laughs> that I'm, was like. I'm trying to find ooh. out if I like it or I not. Got, it's like, I got a lime flavor out yeah, of it. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like you get a like a, a, a explosion of acidity in your mouth, but not it's not overpowering. It's just like unexpected, I should say. It changed the flavor so much, yeah. and you are absolutely I'm right. I'm going to say it. Yeah. Because I think I know what it is. It, it dances salsa. In an internet, and it has a lot of lime juice. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is probably the one of the easiest dry aging experiment I've ever done to distinguish what it is. Yeah. Because the acidity does come through. I think it could. You yeah, almost it, got it. You almost got it, but you didn't get it. Don't it, tell me it's lemon or orange. No, it's lime, but it's the uh, zest. It's only the mm, zest. Just There's no lime juice in it? Uh-uh, not at all. The acidity is like complimentary. It's not really overpowering. It doesn't take I away agree. from it. It doesn't make it bad. It's just 
really weird. Like you're not expecting that when you bite into a steak. Very different it in is. a very good way. It's still extremely juicy. This steak right here is much juicier than this one here. Would you guys agree? Absolutely. It's it's very which juicy, is, which yeah. is why I'm surprised that you didn't put any actual lime juice in it. I was the fact that just the zest alone was this powerful is really shocking. If you ever grown limes or lemons and you smell the actual plant, mm -hmm. the plant, not the actual like fruit, the plant, when you smell it. The way that the leaves smell on it, that is how it tastes. Smell is is the taste is that the you taste. get out of it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one thing. I don't know exactly the science behind it, everybody. And I mentioned on the video already. When I open it up and I to remove the butter, it is very unpleasant smell. I <laughs> thought that this was going to be a complete fail. I'm telling you right now. But tasting it, it's nice. You can have the whole thing, Leo. Just grab it. Oh. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, grab Guru, you grab, know grab this one. Yeah, no, it's Guru, yeah, you, if you say so. <laughs> this was a good experiment. It worked quite well. It changed completely the flavor of the steak. This one here and this one, it's almost like they come from a different cow, basically. That's how different it is. It is not bad. It is very different. And I would definitely recommend you giving it a try, even though it produces an interesting, funky, not pleasant smell when you open it up. Okay, so you have been warned if you want to give this one a try. What I'm do not you think? gonna lie, that's juicy as hell. It is, it that's is, it is juicier because you know, this one here, since it was dry aged, the moisture escaped. Mm -hmm. This one here, not so much. There's such a big difference yeah. in juiciness. Juiciness, like, yeah. And the control is usually the one that's more juicy. So, Correct. kind of cool that that one is actually yeah. looking like it's falling apart completely and yeah. also juicy as all hell. I have to try more. Try, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, you better get more. your own steak. <laughs> well, here's what I'll tell you. Okay, say no okay, more. Okay, okay, uh, okay, say okay. no more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, Let's, he told me to do it. You I, saw him do it. I propose look a trade. Look at that dumb <laughs> face you got. <laughs> I, 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 I propose a trade. You shouldn't Angel. have said it. Hey, Angel. look, it's on the plate already, man. Look, what can I not, do? Dude. As you guys can see, it was actually a success <laughs> because they're going for this one here before they're going to a fully dry hey, age one. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.